If you come from an Android, iOS or Windows Phone device, self-assurance is quite different from what you have used before. Let's check out how to master it. Tap unlocks the device. From here you can go to the ambience, to the app tray, or unlock to the home screen. And this is the home screen. Here we have an overview of the running apps represented by their covers, which can show also additional information. And if some buttons are present here, down below, and we press them, we can go straight to perform different actions. Swiping from the left, and we go to events view. Here we have the weather widget, then calendar appointments for the day if present, and then the notifications coming from uh, all the applications installed on your device, for example, Android applications or, or Selfish applications, then Facebook and Twitter um, notifications integrated in the OS and a Twitter feed. On the right we have uh, quick toggles to toggle on and off flight modes, Bluetooth or whatever and here we have some quick actions to go straight to take a selfie or show yourself on the map etc. And this is a carousel view so we can go wherever we want just swiping through these screens. Selfish, the main interaction with the OS is gesture based. There are two different kind of swipes. The first one starts from outside the screen and it's called swipe. The second one it starts from inside the screen and it's called flicker. Swipes are used to interact with the OS. So for example, if we are in an application, a swipe from the right or from the left will bring you back to the home screen, while um, a swipe from the bottom will uh, reveal the app tray with all the installed apps. And this works also in an application, so you can quickly jump through installed apps without neither the need to return to the home screen here we can launch the calendar, for example. And a swipe from the top will reveal the ambience menu. Here we can quickly lock the device or select a different ambience. The ambiences are uh, a set of colors, wallpapers and sounds which let you customize your device any way you want, for example. You can Select another ambience and the accent of the OS will change accordingly. You can further customize gestures. For example, a um, swipe from the left will bring you straight to events view and a swipe from the top will close the app. Users are used to interact within an application. For example, if we open the calendar, we select today, we see that we have no way to go back or select an option in a menu. Here we can see this little dot just moving the finger from left to right, we can go back to the previous screen of the application. And if we see this glowing line here, we can flicker from top to bottom and reveal the pulley menu. Here we can just select um, an option and releasing the finger the option will be triggered. If we have a media app running we can place three fingers on the screen and go down and up and this will change the media volume. So, have fun guys!